if we can try to get something done about it. Uh, yes. I thought banks were more dangerous than standing armies. So give people the power to create money out of thin air and they control the world. How do you take that power away? Government issue of currency for debts, foreign and domestic? Right. You know, originally when the Constitution was written, they said uh, that uh, it had to be of uh, gold and silver. That's all they mentioned. And they do mention it explicitly in, in, in the Constitution. We kind of got away from that. And we have a paper currency. For a while, the paper currency was exchangeable with gold and silver. And then for a while, we said, well, the currency is backed by the full faith and credit of the government. If you have an honest government that's not running a deficit, that can go on for a long time. As the government becomes less and less transparent and less and less honest with its books, it becomes more and more worrisome. The joke I have now is that once upon a time, your dollar was backed by gold. Now your dollar's backed by used car loans and bad home loans. There's some truth to this. In 2008, when we had this big crisis, the Fed bought $4 trillion worth of assets. And you're like, well, assets are good, right? Well, no, assets are like bad home loans. That's an asset. Some people argue that the price of houses or home mortgages that the Fed owns may not have been marked to market. They may not yet have gone to their bottom value. There is some danger that we still live in a real estate bubble. We've come back in many ways. People are building again. It seems to be more healthy. But we still have virtually zero interest rates, and we have all of the stuff the Fed owns. The Fed owns so much stuff trillions and trillions of dollars, they're afraid to sell it. They're afraid to tank the real estate market again. They're afraid to sell it because then it, we know what its actual value is at that point in time. So I am with you. Some have argued that what we should allow is uh, legalizing competition, other currencies. Um, and I think there's a possibility some of that occurs over time. I don't know if I have the ultimate answer other than that I'm very concerned about the fiat currency that we have now and whether or not um, we live in somewhat of an illusion of wealth that could come crumbling down in a dramatic fashion like what was about to happen in 2008 and uh, in some ways 2008 a lot of people still did suffer through that for several years. Yes. 